keep the Kentucky here. Um, I'm going to make this very short and sweet. And I want to shout out um, Much Love from Kentucky. Check out her YouTube channel. But she has opened a forum for me to talk about some shit that's been on my mind for so, some time now. I guess I'm kind of at my height of passivity, if you will, about the subject. Now, in particular, I am talking to the age group, what I feel is from like 94 to 98. I feel like from that time frame, something, something happened in that era because all the kids that are teenagers right now are f***ing crazy. All right, let me tell you about all these challenges. Now, when it first started, the ice um, water challenge, a good cause because guess what? In retrospect, everybody was going to be paying a donation to a charity of their choice. Correct? All right. And yes, people are putting themselves in awkward situations for the, the greater good. You know what I'm saying? But you can't have something good for too long before somebody takes it and just f*** up. Basically, it went from the ice water challenge where you were getting donations, freaking a lot of charitable um organizations were gaining money from doing this ice water challenge either jumping in the ocean or just putting water on you i don't know if everybody donated the money but apparently that's what it was we've gone from ice water challenges to setting yourself on fire to freaking pass out challenges why do you why do you think that is do we not have enough after school activities? Is it the summer so everybody's children are going wild? Where's the parental supervision? What's going on in real life is what I'm in dire need of knowing. I got to know. And as a mother, I just feel like, is this really the group of kids? I mean, is this the group of kids of this era that I'm talking about, these teenagers, for my son to look up to? I don't think so. And I think everybody needs to take a good look, especially if you're a parent, and be better um, supervisors as, as to what your kids are up to. Check their phones, check their internet history, check everything because it's social media. And I'm not going to put it on that because people own it to have a personal responsibility for what they post. And I think that a lot of kids these days in this era of technology, everything is gold if it goes viral, good or bad. Everything that goes on the web is there for a long time. So it, it's, it can never be erased after that. And for it to go viral and for people to think that it's, a, it's cool to do certain things just because it's gone and it's got a few thousand likes and a lot of people comment on it, it's, uh, it's sad to see. People are dying. We got better sh out. Chicago's having a, like the worst summer ever. My hometown is having the worst summer ever. And I think that kids need to get more into ho hobbies, a book club, uh, something productive. Because obviously we got way too much time on our hands. And personally, I don't think that we need to be giving our kids cell phones and giving the time. And, you know, it's a lot of things that counter what I'm about to say. It might come off hypocritical. But I don't think we should be giving our kids phones just for that very reason. Or we need to check the settings before we give it to them because obviously everything's funny and everything's cool to go on the web. And I just personally don't agree. And I know there's a lot of people who can agree with what I'm saying because it's it's literally stupid. And that's the only, I can't think of any, I can't give you any synonyms right now. It's just stupid. It's, it's stupid. Do better. Okay, do better. That's all I can say because, and today I saw a condom sniffing challenge. A girl, no lie, took a Magnum condom, sniffed it up her nose and through her mouth and was proud and felt accomplished. Promise that you will sing about me. Promise that you will sing about me. We need to do better. 
We need to supervise our kids. We need to be involved with our kids. We need to get our kids involved with things that are going to better them for the future. It is literally sickening to sit back and watch shit like this appear on my timeline and see kids get hurt for nothing. For what? For some likes? For some comments? It's ridiculous and it needs to like go away. That's all I got.